All right, guys, I'm back. Um, apparently, the introduction video didn't get me kicked off YouTube, so we're doing okay so far. We're about right there. Not really, but we're okay. Uh, I was going to make this video to, <laughs> to be honest. This These stories I'm about to tell you are funnier than hell. Um, this was my reactions to working uh, I, like I said in my previous video, I've had a lot of jobs. And some jobs I didn't like. Some jobs were okay. And then some jobs were just out there. Just like I'd go home every day and be like, what the hell was that? Just crazy. Like, this is the main point of this video. If, like, adult situations or something... If it makes you uncomfortable, this video might not be for you. But this is by far some of the funniest stuff that's ever happened to me. So I had to tell you on the channel. I had to. I had to. I had to tell you. I just had to. My friends know a lot of these story, stories, but I have to tell other people these stories to let them gain an opinion for themselves. And uh, I mean, if you like them, if you don't, I mean, they're a little racy. Well, they're a lot racy, but. All right, hell with it. Here goes. Um, back years ago, I guess I was in my early to mid 20s. I'm 39 now. Yeah, I'm old. Sorry. <laughs> Not that you care, but whatever. I'm, I'm 39 now. Back in my early to mid 20s, I got a job working. It's about an hour from my house. And I was working at an adult video store adult video store, um, porno store. It, let's just be honest. That's what it is. It's what you're going there to get. You're going there to get porn. Whatever. So, I'm working at the store, and uh, I get trained by this dude, nice dude, younger dude, cool as shit. I get trained by him, and he tells me, yeah, you know, you first night's here, you might you might see or hear some crazy shit. And I'm like, mm, how crazy can it be? You know, but little did I know, when I first started, this porno store was a 24-hour porno store. Yeah, it never closed. And guess who got stuck with the third shift on the weekends? So in other words, I had to deal with all the drunk people. There was a bar and a nightclub, like two tenths of a mile in a row. So, of course, when these people got out of this bar and nightclub, they'd come in there. There'd be crazy stuff go down. I'd have to either pretend I didn't see it or try to stop it. And a lot of times I didn't try to stop it, guys. I was just like, this shit's crazy. I'm just going to let it go. But there were a few times where it got a little crazy even for me. A little bit too crazy even for me. One time, like I said, I'm sorry about the language. But I have to tell you this, the way it happened, or you're not going to get the story. You're not going to understand how crazy this was. Okay. Was there one night? Now, I, it's three separate occasions. It's three separate nights. It's all it didn't happen on one crazy night. Three separate nights. The first one's not that bad. Second one, a little worse. Third one is out there. It was crazy. It was a... It was... It was, it was a situation where the police were called on the third one. Just warning you, it's going to be some crazy stuff. Right, first one, I'm sitting there, and I'm inventory movies, whatever, looking around. Inventory the movies. You had to count all the movies every night, which was, which was horrible. Hated that part of the job. I did get to meet a lot of interesting people, which that was a cool part of the job. I did kind of hate having to go through and like, Sort movies out in front of people because you always feel like a weirdo because you're out in all the different sections. Because they had everything sectioned is like uh, straight, lesbian, gay, bi, tranny, whatever. You've all seen porn. You watched Pornhub. You know what the what the genres are. They all had that stuff. Just <sighs> they separated out in genres, so you just go to what you wanted to see. Which is, I guess, kind of cool. Whatever. So, I'm behind the counter one night. And this guy and his wife comes in. 
I'm assuming it's his wife. They're holding hands. It's either his wife or his girlfriend. One of the two. But they come in. And this guy looks at me. Like I hand him. He, I said, I got to have your ID. I knew that he was over 18. But we had to see everybody's ID. He was on camera. Part of the job. So I get his ID. Get his wife's ID. Let him in there. They're cool. We're just walking around looking at shit. Goofing off like most people do. They'd pick up toys and be like, ooh, you know, show this to everybody. Uh, you know, that's how most people do at porno stores. If, especially if you're there with your friends and your significant other. You're joking around about shit. You're making jokes. And you're just looking at stuff. Unless you come in for a specific reason. They were just looking around, and I did not know. I mean, I knew it once I got there that night. This was actually my second night working this job. I knew it when I got there that night, but we had got in these new sex swings. Like, really, uh, like, crazy sex swings. Like, you could recline your partner in a certain position. You could lean them up. You could lean them down. You could put their legs way out. You could put their legs over, the top, over their head. You could put their legs straight down the floor. Crazy shit. Okay, they're looking around for a little bit, and the guy tells me, he's like, hey, he comes up there, he goes, I got a question I need to ask you, and I thought it was going to be a normalized question. He, he asked me the question, and he goes, hey, um, I still can't believe this happened, but it's true, I promise you. He asked me a question, he says, hey, what's the deal with the sex swing? I said, well, it's just set up so people could see it. He said, how much is it? And I was like, dude, I don't even know. So I had to look it up. The sex swing was like $1,800. Good little chunk of change, especially for a sex swing. He's like, dude, I don't... He's like, I kind of want to buy it, but I don't know. Is there anything I could try it out? I'm like, try it out? What the hell are you talking about, dude? He's like, well, is there any way me and my... Is there any way you could like lock the doors and... Me and my wife could go back there and like have sex in the sex wing. I'm like, dude, <laughs> not gonna lie. He offered me money. He offered me like five hundred dollars. The shit was tempting. I about took it, but at the same time, everything's camera. There's cameras everywhere. So if I did that, I lose my job. Not only lose my job, but um, I mean, that's sketchy as shit. It's it's, it's bad. So he uh. Him, no, I can't do it. I was a man, I can't. And he's like, well, what if you did shit with us? I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, well, what if it was like you and my wife or you and my girlfriend and you just, and she just tells me how the swing is. And I'm like, I ain't going to lie, guys. I'm a man. I'm a guy like everybody else. I looked over at her and, and the thought went through my mind. I was like, I mean, you know, this could be something, but at the time, at the time I had a committed girlfriend and I, I don't cheat. So I don't, do, I don't cheat. I, me and my fiance has been together for, oh, she's going to kill me. Uh, <laughs> we've been together for close to seven years. I don't cheat. Love her to death. I had one marriage at work. Side the point. We're still friends. Cool. She's moved on. I moved on. We, we're both on to better things. But I've been with my fiance for about seven years. I don't cheat and uh, really care about her. And at the time, you know, I was young and stupid. I thought I cared about this girl too. Well, really didn't. It was just one of the things you was just with somebody to be with somebody. At the time, I thought I cared. But you, you know how it is. When you're younger, you think you love every damn body. You know, you, you meet somebody that day. Oh, I love her. No, no, you don't. You don't even know what love is. You have no idea. I mean, not saying you, but most people. Especially when you're younger, you think you love everybody. You don't. Just throwing it out there to you. You may. I mean, you may get somebody and it be like that, where it's uh, where that's your lifetime thing. That's your one person. I, that hardly ever happens. If it does, good for you. But to most people, that is not going to happen. Okay, anyway, uh, I told the guys, like, no, nah, man, I got a girlfriend. I can't do that. Not going to do it. It cost me my job, too. I ain't going to get fired. I've been fired enough. I didn't want to get fired again. And he's like, well, okay. Well, then they go back there and start looking at the swing. And the end of this story is rather anticlimactic. 
because they go out and look at the swing and they're still looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. And they finally come up and like have some porno DVDs or something. So um, I ring them up, tell them have a good night, they leave. Okay, I know that story wasn't that crazy. Like I said, that was tame. But it was crazy to me because I never had that shit happen to me at work before. I never had that shit happen to me in my life before. Like I never had that kind of like crazy offer where I didn't even know this. I didn't even know this woman, and it just all of a sudden just hey, you know, I've never had that happen. But like I said, didn't do it. Had a girlfriend at the time. Don't cheat. Didn't do it. Okay, the second story. He said, I don't know, about two weeks later, sitting there, this guy comes in. He looks kind of, he don't look weird, but he just looks kind of sketchy. Looks like he's not really sure he wants to be in a porno store. You know, he's kind of looking over his back and making sure people, you know, who's behind me, who's looking at me. Da, 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 da. He's doing that shit. So he hands me his ID, because I asked for his ID. And I see his ID, and he's like, he just goes, look, I start looking. It's like, all right. So he's walking around for a little bit. He's been about 20 minutes. I'm busy counting the DVDs. And he's been about 20 minutes. And then he said, hey, I need your help with something. I'm like, okay, how can I help you? You know, I'm trying to be nice. He goes, uh, I got a question for you. We had this big wall. With like sex toys and like dildos and strap-ons and shit. It was like from the from halfway up the ceiling to the bottom to the floor. It was just crazy. There's some shit on this wall. I didn't even know what the fuck it was. I was just looking at it going, wow, that's a lot of money to spend on some shit like that. But I didn't know what it was at the time. I said, early 20s, mid-20s. I knew some of it, but some of it I was like, wow, they make that? Crazy. But he looks at me and says... Well, I want to know which one of these strap-ons would be the best for me. Give me this weird look. I'm like, strap-on? Well, you're a dude. What do you need a strap-on for? I mean, don't you already have that equipment to do what the hell you want to do with? I mean, I, that's how I'd see it. He's like, no. Um, I can't believe I'm telling you all this. He said, no, my... Uh, my, he didn't say significant other, but that's what I'm going to say because I don't know who the hell she was. He just said, my girl likes to peg me. I said, peg you? Because at the time, I didn't know what that shit meant. I had no idea. None. He said, yeah, peg, you know, she gets a, she has to get a strap on and you let your imagination go where it wants to go. She has to get a strap on and bend me over and she does what she wants to do to me. And I'm like, all right, that's some freaky shit, but whatever whatever you into, dude. Whatever you into. And I said, so why do you need my help with that? Because I'm not getting involved in that shit. No, hell no. Not getting involved. Uh, he goes, well, I just want to know which strap on you thought would be right for me. And I'm sitting here going like, well, fuck, I'm just a dude that broke at a porno store. I ain't a doctor. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know how big your asshole is. I'm just saying, I don't know the circumference of, I don't know the circumference of your ass up to, <sighs> I can't believe I just said that. First video on YouTube, I don't know the circumference of your asshole. That's, that was crazy. But <laughs> anyway, I told him, I was like, dude, I, I, I don't know. He's like, well, how am I going to achieve this? I said, well, you said your girl's into this, right? I said, yeah. He said, yeah. I said, well, won't you just go get her, bring her back in here, and then you and her can choose. It sounded like a good idea to me at the time. He's like, oh, that's a good idea, man. I'll be back. He left. 100%, I thought dude was messing with me. I thought somebody dared him come in the store and say this shit, and I thought he was just fucking with me, and I thought he was going to leave and not come back. Okay, hour and a half later, this dude comes back to the door, and I see his girl behind him. I'm like, oh, this is about to get weird, very weird. And I was right. Uh, I see his ID, and I see his girl's ID. 
they walk right to the wall of strap-ons, like right to the wall of strap-ons. It'd be like over, like if you was running in the store or I'm at the desk, the wall of strap-ons would be like over this way somewhere, like in front of the store. They walk over the wall of strap-ons and uh, he starts showing stuff to her. She's just looking at it and she's like, well, this is, you know, this is this and this is that. And I don't know if this would be good. I don't know if that'll be good. Da -da 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 -da. They're looking for about, couldn't be no more than five minutes. They're looking and then I'll, I'm putting up movies. I'm putting up DVDs. I'm counting stuff. And as I turn around, I I see her pick up a strap on. She's holding it like this. Like, I don't know if you can see, I'm not trying to hold a mic or everything in front of my face, but she's holding it like this. And she goes, yep. Looks him dead now. Yep, perfect size. Looks at it and goes, and she starts like moving her hand, like stroking it, like weird to me. Starts stroking it, and I'm like, this is freaking weird. Never had this happen in a job before. But she's stroking it, and then she goes, yep, perfect size. He said, really? She goes, yep, it's going right in your asshole. And I'm like, oh. Okay, the weird level just got way up to here, and I'm checked out at this point. So, they stay in the store about another 20 minutes looking at shit. Then they come up, and they wind up buying that strap-on and lube, and I don't even remember what else they bought, because that shit was crazy. So, I checked them out. Well, I didn't check them out, but I mean, I rung the shit up, and they left, and... As they're walking out of the store, like a guy would do to his girl as they're walking out of the store, the guy walks out first, and his girl just turns around and just smacks him on the ass, like super, like super hard. Like I heard that shit, like reverberate over here somewhere. It just went crazy. And I was like, man, I don't know who the man is in this relationship. Apparently it's her. I don't know. I didn't want to know, but that was one of the craziest nights I ever had. And it was ridiculous. I mean, I never... <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> it's a bad word to use at this point. But it was crazy. That's, a, that's another night that was just like... And I had many weird nights at the store. These were just the three toppers. These are three toppers. These are three worst nights. You ever have an interesting job? Find a 24-hour porno store. You're a bar in a club. Work at that shit for like a year. You'll have the craziest stories ever. Trust me, I do. I'm not going into all of them here, but this one is, <laughs> this one's the one I about quit on. I had, uh, these cops came. Well, well let me start again. I'm sitting there one night counting movies. This girl comes up and she's, she's embarrassed. She looks embarrassed. She's a younger chick, probably like in her, probably about my age at the time, early twenties, whatever. And... She, she looks at me, and her face is, like, red. I mean, like, red, red. Like, her face, her face is redder than, than this, this shit on this hat. Well, that's kind of pink. But it's redder than Bart Simpson's shirt right here. Her face is red. I'm talking about, like, she just looked like she ate a Carolina Reaper pepper, and she don't know what the hell's going on. Face is red. Forehead's red. She's sweating. Okay. So I take her ID. I said, yeah, yeah, look around, have fun, whatever. And she just kind of goes, oh, she's like kind of timid. She's like, okay, thank you. And I'm like, I think she's embarrassed to be in a porno store. And I tell her, I was like, look, you ain't got to be embarrassed. People come in here for the same thing. Everybody got a freak side to them. Everybody come in here and look at stuff. You ain't got to be embarrassed. She's like, oh, no, I'm not embarrassed. I work at one of the porno stores on the other side of town. I'm like, well, then, I didn't want to say it, but I looked at her and I said, why is your face red? Why are you sweating? She said, I don't quite know how to tell you this. I'm like, quite know how to tell you. Just tell me, you know. She's sitting there hitting around. I'm like, just tell me. Shit, just tell me what's on your mind. She says, as she pulled up to the store, there is a homeless guy. I don't know if he's homeless or not. We're assuming he's homeless because 
he's sitting outside a porno store on the sidewalk. So I'm thinking he's homeless, either that or he just don't have nothing better to do. But he's <laughs> he's sitting outside on the sidewalk. And she says as she's pulled up, she sees him kind of trying to, you know, hide his shit. Look, he'll look, hide himself. Look, oh, I'm hot. Like, hide himself. And I said, honey, I said, oh, not honey, sorry. I said, what do you mean he was hiding? What are you talking about? She's like, as I pulled in, he was, you know, on the sidewalk. And I'm like, no, I don't know on the sidewalk. Tell me what you mean. I'm sorry, the camera's moving. I'm doing this on my phone. She goes, as I come in, he... He was masturbating on the sidewalk. He's just sitting there playing with stuff on the sidewalk. Like standing up on the sidewalk, just just going at it like that. So at this time, I think she's messing with me. I'm like, <laughs> I just start laughing. I was like, hey, man, stop playing. Just tell me the real truth. She goes, <laughs> no, I'm serious. He's beating his dick on the sidewalk. I'm like, oh, gosh. Oh, crap. Now this happens to be my problem. So I said, I look at her, I said, I don't know what I need to do about this. She goes, well, have fun, good luck. And she walks on the store and starts looking. I'm like, well, thanks. So <laughs> I'm sitting here. And my first thought was, just leave dude alone. Leave him alone, leave him be. He'll leave in a little bit. Nah, no, that didn't happen at all. Mm -mm. didn't leave it all didn't leave not one little bit I'm sitting there for about 15 minutes just ignoring what's going on outside I'm just looking straight ahead ignoring what's going on outside and then finally I get up and I'm like I'm going to go to the door and see if this motherfucker left or not so I go to the door I go to open it he is still standing in the exact same space she said just going crazy just going to town on himself in the middle of town, people driving up and down the road. He don't care. He's just doing his thing. Just like if you was at home by yourself, just going to town on it. I'm like, well, now there's an issue. I can either tell him he needs to leave or I can shut the door and pretend like I didn't see what the hell's happening and I can go sit back down. But there was people driving by. And as the people drive by, there's there's a there's a there's a scene getting made. If you can imagine a busy city, you drive by dudes in front of the porno store just standing there. People's gonna start taking notice. So I go outside, I open the door, and I'm kind of sneaking out because I don't want to sneak sneak up on dude because I I don't know where he's at mentally. I'm not making fun of him or nothing. I just don't know where he's at mentally. I don't know what the shit's about. So I'm start I'm sitting here and I'm going. I'm just starting to, I'm, I just, I have the door and I go, psst, psst, you know that little psst noise you make, I don't know, I can't do it good, and then I'm like, he never turns around, so finally I'm like, hey man, he's like, I said, hey man, he goes, what, looking at me like that, and I'm like, damn dude, calm down. Just calm it down a little bit. I said, hey, man, you can't be doing that in front of my store on the sidewalk, man. I said, these people driving up and down the road, somebody's going to call the cops. Okay. Set, he just sits down and quits. I'm like, all right, cool. He got the message. He's just going to sit down, and he's just going to sit there and be cool. All right, cool. I go back in the store. I sit down. I start watching, or I'm start watching, yeah, I can't watch shit, I'm at work. I start putting the videos back up again. And then, uh, see, I thought since he was sitting there, he was going to leave. Another person comes in the store, and they're like, what's still with that dude on the sidewalk? I'm like, oh my gosh, he's still out there? They're like, yeah, he's still out there. He's weirding people out. I'm like, well, okay. So I go back outside. I check their ID, let them in the store. I go back outside to try to talk to the dude and just try to talk him down. Not getting within, not getting within shot of him, if you know what I mean. Not getting within that. But just trying to talk him down. And he goes, open the door. I said, hey man, you can't be out here masturbating. I didn't say masturbating, but I'm trying to clean it up. Just a tad. 
You get me out here masturbating on the sidewalk, man. These people driving by. Somebody's going to call the cops. You're going to get me in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. You can go to jail. Pretty sure this is against the law. If it's not, then something's messed up with the law because it should be. This guy, I'm not joking with you. I'm not playing with you. I'm not even kind of kidding. This guy, without missing a beat, he is standing near the road, facing traffic, and he's like this. You can, you can imagine. I say it to him. This dude stops. He turns, looks dead at me and goes, Shh, and he keeps beating it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Did you just hiss at me? First off, you ain't going to be hissing at me like that in front of my store. Well, I ain't in my store, but I'm working there. You ain't going to be hissing at me like that in front of my store. And I'll be damned if you're going you gonna to beat toward me. That ain't going to happen. So I just duck back in the wall. I duck back in the door. Shut it. Lock the door. Cause, uh, he ain't jizzing on me. Guarantee you that. If that's what he was aiming for, he's going to miss because he ain't getting it on me. He ain't hitting me. I didn't sign up for this shit. I don't get paid enough. I'm not dealing with it. So I lock the door. I go in the store. Pick up the phone. I don't know what to call because the police really don't have a, 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 a number for a man beating off at your store. So I call 911. It's the only thing I can think about a call. It's not really an emergency, but it is to me because there's a dude beating, you know, in front of my store. It's an emergency to me. I need this took care of now. I call on one, and of course, you can see where the story's going. I get the sweetest little old lady that you've ever heard of, that you can ever even imagine. One of these sweet Aunt B type ladies. One of these ladies, like you ever watched. Uh, Looney Tunes, one of the ladies like Tweety's grandmother, somebody like that. So I'm trying to describe this to her, but trying to make it where it's not like too crude. I mean, we all got grandparents. You wouldn't talk to your grandparent like that, would you? So I'm trying to make this where it's not crude. So I call her, she says, What's your emergency? I said, Yeah. Um, so I told her the address of the store. She said, well, what's your emergency? I said, well, I don't really know how to say this, ma'am. She's like, well, just say it. I said, ma'am, I can't. Because if I say it, you're going to pass out. And I'm going to be responsible for for, for 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 making an old lady pass out at work and break her hip or something. And that's going to be my fault. She's like, I've heard everything. I was like, hey, you ain't heard this. I guarantee you ain't heard this. Because if you did, you wouldn't be doing this job no more. She's like, well, tell me. I'm like, well, I told her the address. I told her, I said, it's an adult video store. She goes, okay. I said, well, there's a guy out here in front of the store getting happy on the sidewalk. She said, well, there's nothing wrong with being happy in public. I'm like, oh, God, ma'am, don't do this. Don't make me spell it out. I'm about to spit on myself. Now. Don't make me spell it out. She's like, well, honey, it's okay. You can be happy. I'm like, no, ma'am, you don't get it. He is being very happy. He's having fun with himself in front of my store. She still don't get it at all. It's just going right over her head. She don't get it. She don't understand. So I say it again. She's like, you're going to have to be clear with me and tell me what's going on and i'm like okay ma'am i'm just gonna come out and say it there's a dude out here beating his dick on the sidewalk i don't know what you want me to do she starts laughing this old lady this grandmother starts laughing at me because this dude's out here doing this on my i've been in this job like a month this is crazy all this happened within like the first month i was there and she starts laughing and she goes, you people take it too far with the pranks. I know you work in an adult video store, but you ain't got to call them prank like that. That's not funny. It could get cops out there for no reason. She's laughing and she says, it's a pretty good prank though. And I'm like, uh -huh, it's not a prank. He's beating his dick on the sidewalk in front of the store. People driving by. I don't know what to do. 
I didn't sign up for it at all. None. Did not sign up for this crap. I thought I was just going to sell some movies to some people, man. Thought I was going like, to stock some shells, sell some movies. I didn't sign up for this. So, she, she says, well, what do you want me to do about it? I said, what do I want you to do about it? You 911. This is, shouldn't you be telling the cops? Isn't this against the law? She said, well, technically, this is not an emergency. I said, ma'am, it is to me. You ain't the one out here with a dude pointing his dick at you and hissing, trying to jack it off towards you. If you was hearing the same shit was happening to you, you think there's mercy too. Well, what do you want the cops to do about it? I was like, well, why don't you get the cops to come down here and tase him or get him off the side? Do something. That's what they get paid to do. Serve and protect. Come protect me from this weird dude beating his dick on the sidewalk. She's like, fine. I'll send some officers. They're not going to be happy about Showing up there, I said, I'm not happy to have to call them, but we both have a job to do, don't we? So I wait about 20 minutes, and these dudes, they're still, he's still out there doing this shit. The cops pull up, I see the blue lights. They pull up, they, you've seen cops before. They don't sound like that, but they pull up and hit the blue lights on him, put the spotlight on him. Bam! Big spotlight on him. I'm looking out the window, and I can plainly see him. He's sitting here, like, with a confused look on his face. He's like, Like, he's trying to work out his options. So I'm like, hopefully they'll tell him something. Or this might get physical and they'll have to tase him. I don't know. I don't want the dude to hurt. But I don't want to deal with this shit because I ain't paid enough. I got paid like $9 an hour at the time. That's not enough to deal with that. I don't think no money is enough to deal with that. No amount of money can make you deal with that shit. But um, they finally, I see him sitting there talking to him. And the whole time they're talking to him, he's still got this wide base and he's still sitting here with his hand lock. And as they're talking to him, it's getting slower and slower. And then finally, I see them quit talking and he goes, he stops, he reaches down, he pulls his pants up, buttons, zips, Walks off to the side of the store and just did some fucking beer. Just gone. Just walked off. And the co- I'm wondering what happened. I'm like, did you not throw him in jail? Did you not write him a ticket? Did you not do something? Because I guarantee if it's me or you out there doing that in public, we'd be under the jail. Cops come in there. Cops come in there. And I said, hey, what'd you do to him? We just told He's gone now. You don't have to worry about it. I said, but didn't you write him a ticket? Or uh, put him in jail or something. I said, because any normal person doing that, you'd put us in jail. Anybody else doing that, you'd be in jail. They go, oh, no, it, that happens around this city. I'm like, it does? What kind of city is this? What kind of freaky city did I come to work in? They said, it happens in this city. I'm like, okay, well, what'd you tell him to go, what'd you tell him to get him to leave? They said, we just looked at him and told him to zip it up and move it along. And I'm like, I tried to tell him that and he wanted to beat his dick at me and hiss at me. I about got human DNA on me because I was trying to do my job and get him to leave. But I couldn't get him to leave. But the cops got him to leave. But them saying it carried more weight, so he left. But when I say it, it's (laughs) right at me. Guys, that was one of the craziest nights I ever had, any job, period. I'm telling you right now, this is not, I I did not embellish this story. I didn't make anything weird up. I I, I didn't do anything. I actually kind of tamed this shit down some for YouTube. I tamed it down. But this shit was crazy. Craziest things that happened to me. Well, not the craziest thing, but it's one of the craziest things that happened to me at work. So... I just want to share that story with you guys. I know y'all have jobs. I know most of you have jobs you hate. Most of you have jobs you don't like. Most of you have jobs you you dread going into every day. But let me just tell you this. There ain't none of your jobs worse than working at an adult video store and having a homeless dude 
beat his dick at you. None. That takes the cake. That's worse than all of them. Like, share, subscribe. You have an idea or you just want to talk or you just have something to say to me. What the hell ever. Gentry Productions at gmail.com. I love y'all. I'll see y'all. Y'all take it easy. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace.